Today we're at Picogan, First Nation community at uh, three kilometers from Amos. It's been uh, two years in August since we've decided, uh, along with the uh, First Nations of Quebec and Labrador Sustainable Development Institute, to launch uh, the composting project in Picogan. So we've been working with Brome Compost to find the best way to compost for our needs. This building used to serve as a drying area. It was abandoned, so we renovated and decided decided to use it for our eco center and composting area. Here we compost with buckets like this, so people who compost put their organic waste in these, and we collect once a week per neighborhood. On each bucket is marked which day we pass by uh, your street and shows what we can and cannot put in compost. In the beginning, we had a washing station like this, but we had to find a solution because it didn't make sense to wash so many buckets. Uh, so we dealt with the uh, a plumber, uh, which works with a maple syrup company. So we sent them one of these bins, and he created this machine. So we put soap, and with the brush, it turns and cleans the buckets. This doesn't exist uh, anywhere in Picogan because we had it custom made for our needs. It utilizes the same water in order to take fresh water every time. When the water is too dirty, we use fresh water. At the beginning, we had a small scale, but it didn't make sense to weight each bucket individually, so we bought a big one that can hold 32 buckets at a time. So the operator weights his 32 buckets and puts the residues into the composter to go from one end to the other. Uh, it's been two years since we started composting and we put our compost outside. We have some at our community garden and we have some here and people can always come in and pick some for their gardens, gra grass and flower beds and it's also free for the whole community. Paul Rouchier, uh, owner of Brome Compost and really proud to, uh, to be part of the project in Picogan. Uh, that uh, community that uh, decided to uh, uh, be better in terms of environment and involved all the population to, uh, to manage their organic waste as well of, of, as uh, all the other waste that uh, they generate on site, on their uh, community. Uh, so we've been involved at the beginning to understand their need, to help decide on the sizing of the equipments and supported them, made the on-site training, supported them on the, the, the beginning, the training, and uh, afterwards, all the, the, the follow-up and the support of their team, uh, so all around, all year round, to be able to be as efficient and uh, optimal uh, in terms of composting uh, uh, on the composting site.